grand old partisan, celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I highlight the Free Soil Party. This anti-slavery organization led to formation of the GOP. The 1848 presidential election featured a pro-slavery Democrat running against a slaveholding Whig. Conscientious citizens sought an alternative. August 9th, 20,000 people gathered at a park in Buffalo, New York to establish a third party. The name they chose, Free Soil, reflected their determination to exclude slavery from Western territories. Among the founders were visionaries who went on to be Republican senators and congressmen. A leadership committee met in a nearby church to write a platform. Quote, we accept the issue which the slave power has forced upon us into their demand for more slave states and more slave territory. Our calm but final answer is no more slave states and no more slave territory. The convention nominated former President Martin Van Buren and his running mate Charles Adams, son and grandson of presidents. They won 10% of the vote. This new party elected to Congress 14 representatives and two senators. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.